Guys, we are at 84,000 subscribers. Once we reach 85,000 subscribers, we're going to give away one of these bad boys here, a little red stripe gargoyle gecko. If you want to enter this contest, before we hit 85,000 subscribers, all you gotta do is share one of our YouTube videos or any of our social media videos on your social media, screenshot it and email it over to tikisgeckos at live.com with the subject title, Gargle Gecko Giveaway. A shame, think something new, under the sun. Mm. 2023 is going to hold some of the nicest gargoyle geckos we have ever produced and we're going to start by showing you guys this group right here. This is my Austin Powers group and the name Austin Powers comes from this gecko over here because he is from the UK. So this guy is a six stripe and he has some very very nice coloration but if you guys know me I love to get different gargoyle geckos from different bloodlines. I'm always looking to, you know, expand on the amount of blood that I have for my gargoyles, especially my red stripes, because I don't want to run into a genetic bottleneck when I'm breeding. And I don't want, you know, there to be problems because there's not enough diversity in their genetics. So this is uh, a male I imported from the UK, Austin Powers. And I'm going to show you the girls that I have them with. So this girl here, she is a big chunky girl. She has you know, full red stripes. You can see she has a regrown tail here and she's a couple years old. She's probably like seven years old already. That's why she's so big. You can see that as they age, these gargoyles do start to fade a little bit as, as far as their red goes. Cheek coloration isn't as bright as it was when she was two or three years old, but she's still a very stunning gecko. Those bold, you know, deep red uh, stripes will never get old for me. So that's one of his females. This next female is probably my favorite out of the two he has. And this girl is just so amazing. She has a lot of coloration, obviously, and aberrant striped with some blotchy marks down the sides here. And, okay, I'm just gonna leave them still because they're, <laughs> they're just too crazy. This girl, she was paired for the first time last year and she produced some really, really nice babies. So I'm repeating this pair with them. Hopefully they will produce just as nice babies as they did last year. So this next group is Pennywise's group. Now Pennywise has gained so much popularity because of the absolutely insane animals he's been producing. They are all hiding from me because they don't like the big scary camera. I'm going to show you Pennywise just lost his tail at the beginning of the breeding season. Actually, there's another girl in here that's been eating tails because another girl lost her tail too, but this is Pennywise. As you can see, he is a red super stripe, also known as a six stripe, and that is because of the lateral stripes, so two lateral stripes, and then four red stripes down the back, the mid dorsal stripes and the upper lateral stripes that go down the back. If you count those, that makes six stripes. And this is Pennywise. He looks a lot more handsome when he has his tail, but this guy is an insane gargoyle gecko. Amazing genetics. This one was produced by Renee King and she produces some really, really amazing geckos. He's not the biggest male, but that's why we want to outcross him and, you know, get some other bloodlines in there so we could get this color on a massive gargoyle gecko. That's ideally what I want to do. I like the, the smaller ones too, but, you know, size matters. Camera guy dropping all these geckos in there all the time. So these are the girls that I have with him. This girl here, this is actually one of Deadpool's exes. <laughs> and the reason why I put him uh, or her with Pennywise is because she produces some really deep red, solid gargoyle geckos. Obviously she is really old. She's probably like anywhere from like 10 to 12 years old already. So she's probably gonna retire soon. She has a red base, as you can see here. She has, she's not even fully fired up, but she has a red base. She has some really dark eyes. They might go, uh, I don't know. They might be phantom, some nice red stripes. So that's this girl. This next girl here, she is more of like an orange stripe. She has some sweet laterals. She doesn't have any mid dorsal stripes. As you can see, they're very, very weak, the mid dorsal stripes, but she does have some upper lateral red stripes or orange stripes, I should say and then her laterals are amazing. And of course, Pennywise has some really, really solid lateral stripes, some red lateral stripes like this. That's why they went together because Pennywise is gonna pass down 
those mid dorsal stripes and she is going to help fortify the lateral stripes that we all love so much. So she is looking really awesome. Um, she's more like a, of a, like a yellow base. If you look at her belly here, this is more of like a yellow base. She, when she fires up, there's a really nice contrast. But yeah, I love this girl. And then the last girl I have with Pennywise is, drum roll, another amazing girl. She's going into shed right now, but very similar to that last girl I showed you. She has no mid dorsal stripes, but she does have a lot of lateral blotching and a lot of um, upper lateral pattern and color. She's shedding, so she's not looking her best, but this animal I put together with Pennywise for the color. This girl is absolutely insane when she's fired up and all shedded out. And she is just one of my favorite girls that I have with him. Super, you know, super, super saturated animals that come from Deadpool, I'm sorry, that come from Pennywise are going to come mostly from this girl, I think, here. So this right here is Deadpool Jr. And I am going to show you guys the group I have put together for him 2023 season. Now, Deadpool Jr. is a really red, base, red stripe, gargoyle, gecko. Obviously he has those lateral red stripes. He has the mid dorsal stripes, he has everything. His color all blends in because it's almost the same color. His base color and his stripe color is almost the same. So it just looks like one solid red gecko, which I absolutely love. This guy has been a stud so far from last year and this year he's repeating his group from last year. And I am really excited to show you guys what the girls look like. Deadpool Jr., I'm gonna leave right here. He's actually behaving unlike some of those other geckos. These are some of his girls that we have for this year. So starting off is this super blotched girl here, a red super blotch. She is an animal I produced a couple years back. She is awesome. She has the a good amount of blotching and a good size. The point in, in, in breeding these two together was for me to figure out what is going to be more of a dominant genetics, the, the reticulated blotched or the striped, the red striped. And so far what we found out from last year is that the babies from her are coming out as aberrant striped gargle geckos that have blotching but mostly striped, you know? So I'll show you one of those babies in a second, but it's very interesting because this is maybe like four or five generations of reticulated animals and Deadpool's line Deadpool Jr. is also a, a, a bunch of generations of just striped animals bred back to back. As far as I know, the striped is, is being dominant over the reticulation, which is very interesting. Now this girl here is my absolute favorite gargoyle female that I have breeding this year. She just lo lost her tail, but it's all right. She'll regrow a new one. But this girl has an insane coloration that I haven't seen on many gargoyle geckos and she is fully saturated. She has those mid dorsal stripes that are fully connected. She has fully connected upper lateral stripes and then the fully developed lateral stripe right here. This is an A grade gargoyle gecko if I've ever seen one. This is like one of my favorite animals in my collection, especially when they have these little eyebrows, those red spots on the eyebrows there. It just kills me and the color is just, the contrast is perfect. Her base color is like, a yellow or like a regular uh, classic type of, of stripe coloration base. So it just, the, the contrast that it puts out with this red is just insane. I absolutely love this girl. The last girl that I have with Deadpool Jr. is this girl here. And this girl is another six stripe. She's a little bit older. This is a girl that has great genetics behind her. She's fading now a little bit. She comes from leaping leeches and they produce some of the craziest red gargoyle geckos in the world also. But check out, I mean, you could kind of see how it's fading already, but she's still very, very beautiful. Now the thing about breeding gargles is like, they tend to beat each other up and the, they tend to lose the color a lot quicker than if you just had a pet. This girl is gonna produce some amazing babies with Deadpool Jr. She already has, and this next year, this coming season, she's gonna produce even more. Now this is a classic white-based gargoyle gecko, as you can see here, look at that belly. You know, when they have that, that super light gray or white base, you know, it makes that red pop out even more. All right guys, so this right here is Deadpool. He is probably my most famous gecko in the world. And I would say he's probably the most famous gargoyle gecko in the world. And this is going to be his breeding group. Now Deadpool, he has 
these amazing red stripes that haven't faded whatsoever in the 10, 12 years of his life which is pretty amazing because as you've seen with some of those other gargoyles, they start to fade, especially when they get to the older years. So Deadpool's right here. One of his females that I absolutely love too that I produced out of Dracula is Scarlet J. And Scarlet J also has kept her color very, very well. She's probably about, I think I had her in 2015. So she is about seven years old, eight years old now. Uh, and she is just an amazing combo um, when I pair her up to Deadpool. They produce some of the nicest gargoyle geckos we have seen to date in this hobby. So she is awesome. She is, she looks very similar to her dad, um, Dracula. She has those yellow rimmed eyes, you know, that white base that makes that really nice contrast and those super bold red stripes and the coloration on her is perfect. It is just super, uh, you know, very, very saturated. But check that belly out. She's a white base. You can see some speckling of red in here. And this is like one of my favorite females that I've ever had. Just because of what she's produced. <laughs> she's on the camera. But that's, uh, so that's that one of the girls. I only have Deadpool with two girls this year. Don't want to overwhelm him. Last year, he didn't produce the best. And that might be because of his old age. So the, the Deadpool, Offspring days are, you know, coming to an end here pretty soon. So I, I gotta be picky on who I pair with Deadpool. Now this is the other female I introduced Deadpool with. This is a virgin female and this is her first year breeding. Now something I really, really like about her is her horns. Deadpool also has very, very nice horns, which sometimes, you know, it's, it's an, an attribute of the gargoyle geckos that gets overlooked but I love really nice horns on my gargoyle geckos and of course that red coloration. You can see she is fully saturated. She has a lot of good lateral coloration and those red stripes on her back are just amazing as well. So this is going to be her first year. I have really big expectations for her and I think that, you know, as the year progresses and I start to see the babies that come out of this group, I am going to be mind blown. Deadpool never really has disappointed me and there's no way he's going to disappoint me with this girl right here. All right guys, that wraps up this preview of our 2023 Gargoyle Group season. I am super excited of what we're gonna produce this season. So thank you guys for watching. As always, follow us on all the other social media. We got Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, everything else, Facebook. So if you're interested in what we got going on, make sure you follow us on there. This is you. I love you. I love you so much. This is you. I love you. I love you so much. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> All right. Will you, will you stay on me? Like on my shirt? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like on the shoulder area. Kinda. Yeah. I just kind of want them to face. Oh, I, I'm going to face if I put them this way. Yeah, like that. Recording?